Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for love, appreciation you bring each and every day. Y'all are the face of the police. I cannot do the show without you guys. Thank you for likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for your comments, and thank you so much for taking time to watch my video each and every day, guys. You are amazing fans, man. Cannot do the show without y'all. To my original Assassin's man, thank you so much for sticking with me each and every day, watching my videos, supporting the show like y'all do. It's just been amazing. It's just been an amazing run. We've been, what, six months? It's gonna be six months. And look how far we come. I mean, amazing. So thank y'all so much. To my new assassin who just subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing, so for supporting the show. Um, y'all might agree to disagree with me, but listen, that's why I made this show. It's a debate show. Yeah, like, y'all not agree, y'all not gonna agree with me every step in the way. And that's a beautiful thing, because this is the only show y'all opinions are being heard. And I'm the only guy that will write to you each and every day and, and get back to y'all. Go to any other shows, they don't even do that. They don't care about the fans. I do, I care about y'all opinions. And I hope all the teams have success, but you know that's not gonna happen. So so for all the fans out there, thank you so much for your passion, for your support, for your team. That's why I made this show, because I want passionate fans. I just don't want nobody, everybody to agree with me. I want people to disagree with me and tell me why I'm wrong or tell me what y'all see, and then I, I could point it out. Well, y'all make good um, views and stuff. So, so again, guys, Merry Christmas, late Christmas. Um, I hope y'all got everything y'all wanted. And I know 2020 has been a nightmare for a lot of people. Hang in there. It's going to get better. Um, so 2021 should be awesome. So for, for all of y'all, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Just, just stay positive. We get through this together. Um, tell me what was your best um, Christmas gift you had. I got mine. I met my grandfather for 30, I have not seen him for 38 years. And um, and that side of my family, my aunt, and that side of the family for a very long time. And they made it special. Um, family is family, blood is blood, man. It doesn't matter how many years, but that blood burns inside. It, it's always blood. Um, so they made it special. Um, I'm happy that I, that's the best gift that anybody could have given me to meet my, my grandfather, my aunts, my uncles, they kids, and they are awesome. So I am really grateful this year. Even 2020 been a nightmare, and but it's been a blessing for me because I met that side of my family. So I hope y'all had a special Christmas and I hope you have a special New Year's. Everything who y'all watch this show, anything y'all want, uh, your heart desires, I hope y'all get it. I really do and just amazing. I, um, real quick, I got a Tua autograph football for my my um, grandfather, for my uncles, a limited edition Tua autograph football. That's amazing. Um, I cannot say thank, thank them enough for it. I don't need it that, but they knew I was, me and my uncle that I have not seen for 38 years, me are huge Dolphin fans, so. I want to say thank you to 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 my family for that. It's been amazing. Twenty twenty has been amazing, bad and amazing at the same time. So guys, enough of that. Y'all didn't come for that, all that, but I just wanted to take a little bit of time, say thank y'all. I hope you had a special. Tell me what was your best gift. So guys, you know what time it is. It's two a time. It's game time. This is the you know what show before the game. So guys, so let's talk about the game, right? The Miami Dolphins and the, the uh, I can't even say it. The, I wanna say Oakland Raiders, dude. I, it just sticks with me all the time. The Las Vegas Ra Raiders, it, it's hard to say. But the Vegas, uh, the Raiders, dude. I'm just gonna call them the Raiders because I'm my mind is on Oakland, right? So, the, the Raiders, right? So let's get into it, let's see. It looks like Gesicki, Parker, Grant is gonna be a go. They have not moved anybody up from the process squad. 
So that's a good sign. One key note, um, Lawson is then in trouble with the team. He's out for today. So I keep Lawson on a little bit on the defense side, but Van Ninko should, should play. And congratulations to Van Ninko. He's having his and his wife and having a baby. So congratulations to him. Um, really simple. We need to win to get in, right? To, to get into the playoffs. Um, that's easy. Win two games and you win. Win today and hope Baltimore loses and then you could, you could rest your starters. That'd be awesome because um, Baltimore are facing the, the Giants. Miami just got to take care of business today. Um, the Raiders defense are not that good. The Raiders defense is horrible. Um, thank God that we got our weapons back. I think Tua is going to do his thing. I think Tua is i say about 250, two touchdowns. And I think the running game is going to help again. I think the running game is going to go over 100 yards again. Maybe like two touchdowns too. Um, so I, I like this. Um, I, they could run the football. They could pound it on the Raiders. I really think Miami could run the football on them. Um, they could. I think two is gonna be passing for two fifty, two touchdowns, and, and that's good. You just want to win the game. Get out of there. Get be healthy, and, and win this game. Uh, I think the defense is gonna have two turnovers at least. I think if Harry Howard gets a turnover today, um, last week he didn't get a turnover. Shocking. Um, well, he cost it a fumble, but I'm talking about picks. He didn't. He didn't um, get any picks. I think he gets a pick today. I think Roe gets a pick. And I think um, Needham might get a pick today. So I, one of those players will get a pick. Um, Derek Carr is not, I don't think he's going to be really mobile. It, he's going to start. It looks like he's been practicing f full health. He's going to start. I don't know how long he could go because he could put th those scoring injuries you could pull. Um, so. If he can't really move, he's he's a sitting duck for our defense and our secondary. Um, key note, you have to stop the run from Oakland. You have to. Um, Jacobs is a huge man. Josh, I mean, you just have to stop the run. You stop the run, make them pass. I think Miami has a good chance. Key note, I think Henry Ruggs is going to play today. Don't know, not, not confirmed, but he, they... Um, got him off the Cobra list, so I don't know if he got started or not. So, so that was Thursday. He was off um, the Cobra list, so he practiced. So I don't know how, how much he could go. <clears throat> so Miami should win easily. It should not be that close, but you never know. It's a way. So. Miami just got to come out and dominate and put them down. If Miami can, can come out and dominate and put them down, then it's all good. It's all good in the hood, man. And then Miami should win this game. I would say 35 to 10, Miami wins easily. Um, they, they put them away. My, and Miami could cause turnovers and havoc in the first quarter and two or yes, does anything, then th this game is over. You want to put this team away quick and you want to put them away you want them to doubt themselves and when you do that you can you can win the game easily it's, it's a, this game is mental it's a chess match so to to uh, for whatever reason Tua is a beast in the fourth quarter he comes alive in the fourth quarter um but listen stick to the game plan do your thing get the, get out of there with a win and, and then Go to Buffalo and see what we could do with Buffalo. But you know, is it, today is the big, a big game, big game. You have to win this game. No letdowns. You have to win this game. They know. The Dolphin knows this game means, and the Raiders know. So I, I think it's gonna be competitive for for the first quarter. And I think Miami takes it away. I would love Miami to just jump on them. If Miami could jump on them, then it's it's all good, man. It's all good. But again, we got to see. We just got to see. Um, 
what else guys and then that's about that's about it guys i mean i think i listen i just want our defense to go out there beast mode and i mean davis has been playing out of his mind guys what kind davis been playing playing out of his mind Wilkins, what a great drop pick right um i didn't want to work as that high but listen Tristan Graham and Tristan Flores, because they saw something, and, and the, those two guys are beasting up in the middle. The linebackers are running free. Vranoy is just, just getting his thing. Baker. I mean, it just, it just you can see this team is a team effort each and every week. And, and we don't have the talented team in offense, but you see they find ways to win. Like I always say, you don't have to be the talented team. You just want to, you want it more than anybody else. And, and that, that will win you a lot of games. That fire within. Listen, man, this year, this year draft picks, they, I cannot find one that is almost a mess in this draft pick. I mean, all the draft picks have played, basically. I mean, it's it just incredible. And, and playing in a high level, too. It's not like they're not making plays. All of them are making plays. The offensive line, we drafted, making plays. The running backs are making plays. You know? And the, even the uh, Achman, undrafted, he's making incredible plays. So you can see the talent Miami's building. I mean, everything, they are just... They are just incredible uh, how they've been this team in two years. Incredible building a, a, a bright future for the Miami Dolphins. Listen, I'm a fan, and I didn't think this turnaround was going to be this quick. I thought it was going to be taking time, but I was wrong, man. These guys knew what they wanted, and I, I agree with all the draft pick coming out. I love Austin Jackson, draft, that, that pick. I mean, they wanted to build the offensive line, defensive line. They did that. The trenches, like Flores says, I want to build the trenches. They did that. These guys are young, hungry. And next year, with this experience, is just incredible. If they could go to the playoffs, that experience, what they have this year and next year, you can't buy that. I don't care who you are. That playoff experience, you can't buy it. It's at other level. And, and that's what I'm saying. You get the, these guys to experience in the playoffs. That be you just hit ahead of schedule, you know, and 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 n nobody had the Dolphins on nine wins. But if you go back all the way back when I started um, my channel, I told you Miami eleven to five. I said it. Miami will go eleven to five. And listen. Why did I say that? Nobody picked the Dolphins. Why did I say that? Because I saw the talent. I saw Flores. I saw Greer. How did they was building the team? There you go. How you build this team? How they did it, man. They ripped it apart. And how they built this team was incredible. It was just one of those things that they knew what they wanted. And that's beautiful. Flores is the only guy from the better, better check tree who's having success, guys. You know? I mean... He just want to, and he's humble, and, and and I think he, in the media it may see him one way, but I think he's a good guy. But in the locker room, his guys fight for him. It's just one of those things. It's just a good story for Flores, and he's Latino and and everything. It's just a great story. He's coach of the year in my book. And yes, I'm a Dolphin, but he is coach of the year. You cannot tell me if he makes the playoff, he's not coach of the year. What he went through his first year to now, he's coach of the year. Hands down, man now, man. He's just one of those guys that he deserves coach of the year. I mean, Changeli deserves a lot of credit. Boyd, I mean, I was iffy about our, co our defensive coordinator, but I was wrong. Because I, I thought you needed experience, and he's been calling, and, and uh, he's not overmatched. And that's a beautiful thing. We are we are not getting our coach. We are not getting our coach. And, and that's to me is the best part about winning this. We are not getting our coach. 
and me not winning because me me making bad coaching decision no you you know it's just this guy gets it he knows how to build this team and he's one of those things he's a leader his team follows suit man and and that's a beautiful thing so i mean i love this team and i love the hunger and the fight and florida say we just want to pass joy to our fans and and you are bringing joy to our fans guys to to all the dolphin players you are bringing joy how y'all play with that passion win lose or draw how y'all play each and every week and and that hunger and that passion listen if you pray the right way and you lose like Kansas city we lost but that's a great team but i was not mad that we lost because we played a hell of a game and Kansas city is just one of those teams that are great and and and, and that's all that you can say they are a great team but the fight that this team could have been blowing out and the fight they show and the fight from the opener to now is just incredible brian forwarders man my hat's off to you thank you so much for being our coach thank you for accepting the job chris Greer, thank you so much for building this team the right way for seeing a vision how you wanted to build this team and Chris, one more thing for chris Korea, man the draft guy give me harris if we could get harris and not in the not the first pick and if we get the number three trade out the number number three to at least eight and get more draft picks and then you could get chase or the uh, or smith give me though listen you could do that Man, I'll be loving loving it. So those are the two guys I want for the draft. Or three. I mean, it's just I want Smith, Chase, a and and Harris. Give me one of those receivers and Harris. We done deal, man. Joe's gonna be loving this offense. So guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Merry Christmas, guys. I know it's a late Christmas. I just have not been on. It's just been crazy. Thank you so much for supporting the show to all my assassins, to my future assassins. What? Thank you so much, guys. I know um, y'all give me a hard time and all this, but it's a beautiful thing, guys. My opinion is my opinion, and I love, that's why I made it to a debate show, and, and y'all could comment. Y'all not going to agree with me all the time, and I don't want y'all to agree with me all the time. I want passionate fans. I want fans to call me out. And, and listen, credit to y'all. Y'all have been doing that. And, and that's okay, because I want passionate. I want y'all to be passionate for your team. Why? Because that's your team. You got to represent your team. We out here in beautiful Miami. <clears throat> the weather is at 50 degrees. And it's a beautiful day. So, guys, if y'all could take time and spend with your families and all that, do so. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless. See you, guys.